Hi, Elsa here, just a few designs, and today I'm making tags. This one was a very simple one made out of my Manila folder. They're all really simple. This one just has a little um, butterflies die cut, punched out actually, a little washi and a little paper topper. Really simple. And they're all the same, but look so different. This one is uh, made the same way. I used some stickles, some yellow flowers, some sequins, some washi, and a to and from that I attach with a paper clip so you could remove it if you want to use it for something else. This is the pink one, my favorite one. I actually attached it to and from because this one I'm putting on a bag for a gift. Sequins on the sides. See, it's almost the same thing except this one has bigger flowers than the yellow. So you can use any flower you want from your stash. The, the leaves, Martha Stewart Punch, some seam binding from that I got Snug Hug off of eBay, and yeah, so that's what we're making today. I'm using this right here, six by six papers, and I am going to cut them three by three, smack right down the middle. You'll get four pieces. You will only need two for one tag. Now check this out. Put your two papers together and then cut one side at an angle. Then flip your paper over and this will give you the measurement for the other side. And snip there, flip it over, snip there, and you have two identical tags. Okay, so now pick which one you want on the top, which one you want on the bottom, and tear pulling away from you so that it gives you a raw edge like this. This is going to go on one side, but I'm going to cut the top and the bottom just a little bit. Just so when I place it back in here, I'll have a border all the way around. I'm using Tim Holes Distress Ink and I'm going to ink it getting in there really good. The raw edges will really absorb that ink, giving you a really sharp, dark edge. So there you go. So now this is what's going to go here. But on this side, just to add to it, I'm using my script stamp with some Memento Black Tuxedo ink and I want to stamp it just to give it a little more dimension to it, I guess. Just on half. You don't have to do the other side because you're going to put this piece over it like this. Now use any glue that you use. Wet glue works really good also. And adhere it just like this. Now I'm going to punch a hole using my old faithful. I crop it out and there you go. Over on the side instead of the center. I usually use this piece to cut my butterflies but today I'm using this awesome glittered paper. And I'm going to cut butterflies. And I'm going to cut or punch a total of eight. Four of each. Which will give me four butterflies once I put them together. And this paper punch, this cute little butterfly paper punch I just got. Got it from Hobby Lobby and it's from the paper studio. There you go. I think I paid, it was $7.99 and I had a coupon. So it was a really good deal. Okay, so you're going to line up your butterflies along here. But here's what I do. Grab one, fold its wings back. And this works better with hot glue I found. When you put, I tried using wet glue and when I go to push them together, they just stuck to each other and I really want this 3D effect so the hot glue works really good and I did this for all of the punch outs the punch the butterfly punches <laughs> this is my first time trying voiceover so you all bear with me until I get a hang of this Okay, so once you get all your butterflies just the way you want them and you work with their little wings and stuff, you can put them aside. I'm going to put them on this little black tag here just so you can see them. I hate those glue strings. Ugh, they drive me mad. Anyway, so now, see this? Martha Stewart. Leaf punch. I'm pulling out all the old punches that I've had laying around collecting dust. I really like this one. I've had it forever. So now, I just cut three this time. 
and I'm going to use this Distress Ink by Tim Holtz it's called Peeled Paint and a little dabber and I'm just going to dab the edges, the tips of the leaves, leaving the centers white. Just for contrast. It's totally up to you. Now you see this really pointy tweezers? I love them. Now I get all of them at one time. Sometimes there's more than three. Pinch them with the tweezers, put them between your fingers and twist each petal. By doing them all together, you get a lot more done instead of one by one, and then you have all these cool little leaves with a lot of dimension to them. Okay, you're also going to need a little scallop circle, and it's also another one of Martha Stewart's punch. I believe this is the half inch circle. And just punch it out, just like that. You're only going to need one. Alright, uh, flowers. I've had these flowers also sitting in a drawer forever. Um, I just chose this cute little pink rosettes, add a little hot glue to the back of them, and I arrange the leaves to them just like this. Simple and quick, no real thought going into this. This is one of those projects where you just really have fun, sit back and enjoy. And you can add two leaves, one, one set of leaves. I mean, this is totally optional and depending on how much greenery you like. I love decorating with flowers and the more greenery I put on mine, the better. I decided to add a little bit more green to the first leaves I had done because they were a little light and I wanted them a little bit darker. So that's all that was. So just keep putting your leaves on here. Just like that. Now that you have all your elements ready, we start putting them together. And once again, no rhyme or reason, I do follow the edge right there. That's where I'm that's that's my guideline. And three flowers, butterflies, and um, sequins is a lot, I think, for this. So I only use three flowers. But here I am putting some more of the leaves. Just because I really like how that looks. The fuller, the better for me. I know my friends are probably tired of getting all these. Anyway, so after you put your flowers, uh, start layering on the butterflies and wherever it's appealing to you. Sometimes I overthink it and, it and something fun can turn into such a stressful thing to do. I've decided that where I first put it is where I'm gonna stick it. In. Okay, so I'm going to attach this one because this one is going to be a, for a gift. I'm gonna hang it on the bag. I'm gonna put a butterfly on it of course because I like butterflies <laughs> I was thinking of putting more green here but I changed my mind I think that's enough now here we go this is the piece of eyelash trim that I had from leftover from Christmas but I thought it looked so cool because it's iridescent I folded them in half stuck them punched them you know just pull them through that little hole did me a little loop and pulled the tails through the loop and pull now be real careful don't be too rough here don't pull too hard because it is paper you'll tear it so there you go and now that everything's together and I was gonna put that paper clip there just for looks but I didn't like it so decided not to and now ladies let's tickle the stickle jar right out of my fingers see how it just flew across the table there anyway Stickle it all. Stickles makes everything look so pretty and sparkly. And I even put it on the centers of the butterflies and all around the little to and from. It looks really pretty. Stickles really looks a lot better in person than it does in pictures or on video. Stickles looks horrible on pictures. But it looks so pretty in person. Now I use this glossy accent which the bottle is always clogged and I have to put a needle through it. There you go. And that's what I'm going to use to attach my sequins because it dries clear. So, you see the little jar I have my sequins? I bought those three little packages, three different colors from Joann's. And I took that little container there and cut me little pieces of car uh, cardboard, cardstock, and to build little dividers so I could house all three colors in one little container. All right, so four little sequences. And I think that's a very full tag. What do you all think? And here's the yellow 
and here's the other pink. So there you go. Even though they're also different, they all look beautiful, don't they? Thank you for watching. Bye, y'all. Yeah.